Russia has warned the United States not to interfere in Iran's internal affairs after Donald Trump promised great support to anti-government protesters in the country. Iran has witnessed its biggest demonstrations since 2009 in the last few days, with both anti- and pro-government protesters taking to the streets. Well, Prince Reza Pahlavi was the last, <coughs> excuse me, sir, the last heir to the Iranian monarchy before it was overthrown in 1979, and he's lived in exile ever since. He's urged President Trump to help protesters gain access to the internet after reports that access has been further restricted. Well, he joins me now from Washington. Very good to talk to you, Prince Pavlovi. Um, what goes through your mind when you see what is happening on the streets of so many of the towns in Iran at the moment? Well, as you can see, my compatriots are absolutely <clears throat> committed to take this issue to the very end. Uh, they are paying uh, the dear price of uh, having to, uh, to be confronted by severe crackdown by the regime. That shouldn't be any surprise to any of us. But their resilience and their courage has to be admired. And I, for one, have been, of course, supporting them in every way that I can. The most important thing at this stage, as you just indicated uh, by introducing this segment, is the vital and critical role that social media plays today in terms of coordination and communications that people can have. Obviously, the regime is trying to restrict it to the maximum amount possible. And at this time, one of the most immediate issues, as I have recently tweeted about, is the importance of making sure that people can have access to Internet as well as some key platforms like, uh, for instance, Instagram or Telegram. And one of the things that is critical is that uh, some of the uh, uh, established policies of sanctions may create a problem in terms of companies like Google, for instance, that could cer certainly provide that, but because of the current uh, policy of sanctions may be prohibited from doing it. So a lot of clarification has to happen fast, and I think this is where uh, President Trump in particular can play a, a, a big role in making sure that uh, these issues are, are uh, uh, resolved so that uh, if the intent is to actually support uh, the Iranian uh, people, uh, this critical issue be resolved as promptly as possible. And that is basically the fir first and foremost request that my compatriots who are, uh, as you indicated, on the streets today in many provinces and in big cities are asking me to communicate. Uh, and the sense of urgency is I cannot emphasize it uh, more than I can at, at this point. Uh uh, moral support for, from President Trump for some of the protesters. What about financial support? There have been allegations that America is funding some of these protests. What do you think about that? I don't have any facts that will prove any source of doing this. All I know is that the Iranian people have finally decided that they had enough with this regime and are today calling uh, in every which way that they can and then to this uh, a theocratic dictatorship. Uh, if you follow every uh, clips that we have receiving in the past uh, days uh, about all over the country, the, the chant is against uh, the establishment and they want to finally see whether or not uh, people in the free world will heed their call and this time unlike what we saw happen in the past, particularly the sad example of it being in 2009, whether the world decides this time to be on the side of the people rather than to continue in a way sustaining this regime uh, we have seen, as they had before. We, we have seen also quite a lot of pro-government demonstrations as well. I mean, they are organized, we, we know that, but there are still large numbers of the people on the streets in, pro, in support of the government. Well, look, uh, like uh, forced elections where people uh, are forced to stand up uh, to vote uh, against their will because if they don't, for instance, they don't get a stamp on their ID card if you're a student to be able to continue your studies. Or if you're a government employee, if you do not vote, then you are uh, basically uh, uh, fired from your job. A lot of things in this system has been coerced all along. And of course, orchestrated demonstration by the regime is one of the most classical things any totalitarian system will say. I'm sure you the media are not in any form or shape uh, fooled by it. The important thing is to really hear what the people of Iran are saying today. And I think they've been quite vocal. And this is where I think the role of media in particular is critical at this juncture to make sure that decision makers around this world actually hear the message of the people and not only the rhetoric and the spinning of the regime itself and its uh, instrumental propaganda. What do you think of President Rouhani and the steps that he's make and made to try to, to bring Iran into the modern age, to, to improve relations with America? Let's assume for a second that there would be some sincere elements in this regime. I don't believe that for a second, but let's assume that. 
How could they possibly, in a system that would not allow any kind of change or reform, a system that ultimately has the decision made by unelected officials who can summarily uh, do whatever it is that they want, uh, achieve anything. It is not tenable. This is why we are in the mess we are today. And people simply are not going to put up with this circus yet again. It doesn't matter who is there. The system has failed. It has proven that it has failed. It has proven that, above all, it only thinks about its own interest and not that of the Iranian people. That any funding that comes to their hand, example, the nuclear deal, is not going to spend on people who are starving on the streets, but it's going to finance yet again maybe the regime's uh, avant-garde in, uh, in their proxies in Syria or in Lebanon or Hezbollah or what have you. And people know that. You should understand that the root cause of the problem, aside from the liberties and repression that exists, is, of course, economic at the end of the day. And people simply can't put up with this any longer. So and no promises, or rather say false promises made by anyone, Mr. Rouhani included, is fooling the people anymore. They've had it, and today they're saying enough is enough. So We're taking matter think, into our own hands. Sorry to interrupt. We, we, we are short on time. But what do you think that the solution is? I mean, you know, obviously you would very much like to return to Iran, wouldn't you? Of course. Well, look, the solution is, and I've been always an advocate as a method of change of nonviolent civil disobedience. But understand this. The most critical component at this stage for this movement to ultimately succeed and the regime will ultimately collapse is the crucial role of the military and paramilitary forces. In this scenario, there has to be a guarantee of survival beyond this regime for the majority of them who are simply following orders but are not responsible for the crimes committed by the top leadership. There has to be the possibility of an exit strategy for them. There has to be the possibility for the military and particularly elements of the IRGC to join with the people rather to stand against them. And I've talked to them and I've sent messages to that regard. But I would I'd like to also emphasize that part of the problem has been all along, all these years, that the Iranian people's perception that the world seems to be more inclined to maintain the status quo as opposed to heed their call is a bit of a deflating factor. However, if today the world stands in support of the Iranian people, particularly uh, free, uh, Western democracies, the United States of America included, that will send a very clear message that we are no longer going to fall into the same trappings that this regime has set okay. for all of us all these years. It is important to have a message of support and moral support. That's all the people in Iran are asking for. And this is a message that needs to resonate even further. The dice have been rolled. This is a crucial opportunity that could change uh, history for the better or for worse, depending on what is done at this stage or not. And okay. I'm here to uh, pass on to you the key request of, uh, of, of demonstrator today. Are you with them or we are uh, against them? That needs to be clarified uh, at okay. this stage. We're going to leave it there. We're out of time. Prince Reza Pahlavi, thanks very much for joining us.